Now we are going to learn about a special epithelium called urothelium or transitional epithelium. So now we are going to learn about urothelium. Okay. So why it is called urothelium? Because it is present in the urinary tract exclusively. So we are calling it urothelium. Otherwise, you can also call it as transitional epithelium. Okay, it is also called as transitional epithelium. Now, this transitional epithelium basically it is made up of 4 to 6 layers of cells. Now, the first layer of cells which is present on the basement membrane, they are called low columnar cells or cuboidal cells. So, they can be columnar cells, the columnar cells which are towards the base or they can be cuboidal cells which are present okay so here we have got the nucleus which is present the cuboidal cells or the columnar cells which are present on the basement membrane above them we have got two layers of polyhedral cells or you call polygonal cells what do you mean by polyhedral or polygonal we mean that there are many angles for these cells no specific shape so these are two to three layers of polyhedral cells or polygonal cells above these you have got cells which are larger in size and also have two or three nuclei sometimes generally when we talk about cell it has got only one nuclei but these umbrella cells they may be multinucleated. So these topmost cells which are present are called umbrella cells or pear shaped cells, whatever it is. So you have got four to six layers of cells. Out of these four to six layers, the basal cells are columnar with a nucleus, the two layers are polygonal or polyhedral. Above them you have got the umbrella shaped cells. Please look at the board. These umbrella shaped cells in their cell membrane they have got a special glycoprotein when you see under electron microscope you can see there is a special glycoprotein which is making this membrane impervious and resistant to the harmful effects and the toxic effects of the urine now you know the urothelium means what? The epithelium which is present in the renal calyces, renal pelvis, ureter and urinary bladder. In all these areas what is present? Urine is present. And you know the urine is a waste. It is for elimination of the waste. Is it not? So this urine can have substances, will have substances that are toxic if it is standing for long hours in the body. So because of this glycoprotein, the protection is given so that the membrane is made impervious and resistant to the harmful effects of the urine. And here if you see this type of arrangement, you see when the bladder is relaxed. What is relaxed? That is when the bladder is empty. When the person passes off urine, you get this appearance of the transitional epithelium. Whereas when the person is having or the patient is having the bladder filled with the urine here the cells appear flattened almost all the cells they appear flattened so this flattened appearance of the cells you will get when the urinary bladder is stretched what do you mean by stretched? filled by urine so there is change in the shape no? they are more flat you can draw them as more flat okay so here this is how you get the transitional epithelium thank you